Hi guys, I've just been out in the shed with the hot wire cutter and cut a few bits of scrap foam up. Made myself a couple of wings there. The tail, it's got a bit of a ridge in it. Um, odd piece there to use as a fuselage. A rather large lump there the um, rudder. I wasn't supposed to be out there doing that, I was supposed to be weeding the garden but I got sort of sidetracked. Um, I'm going to have a go at making a very light foam plane to see if we can use any of those cheap electric motors that I get from the vibrating toothbrushes or from the um, what are they? Fluttering butterflies? Garden ornaments? I'm going to see if I can put one of them on. Stick a propeller on it. And see if we can do anything with it. I don't think there's enough power. But I'll give it a go. I'll use a small LiPo battery to give it 3.5 volts or whatever. Not sure what propeller to use. We'll, we'll see what we can do, see if we can get any sort of lift. I don't think it'll work, but I'm happy to be proved wrong. One of the first problems is to find a suitable propeller. I've just taken this rotor blade off this uh, toy helicopter. It's one of those ones you pull a string and it flies up into the air. That um, seems okay. It's probably a little bit heavy. Let me just temporarily connect it up. No idea if that's anything like enough thrust. I think if I cut the outside ring off That'll make it lighter, so it should be able to spin a bit better. I'm thinking of using this little radio receiver that came out of a toy car. It doesn't work the way I want it to normally. Uh, my It's a 40 megahertz one, and it doesn't properly recognise my 40 megahertz transmitter. But it does um, switch on and off, so I can use that just to switch the motor on and off and the reason for doing that is as soon as it gets out of range it will switch the motor off so I can use a LiPo battery that's got plenty of power in it and not be worried about it flying off out of sight or at least not under power it might glide but as soon as it gets out of range of this little receiver and transmitter which is only a matter of four or five meters then the motor should stop. That's the receiver connected up. Small LiPo battery. So you'll notice we well, may not be able to see but the propeller turns the same direction whatever I do with the transmitter. So forwards, yeah backwards it still goes the same way, left it still goes the same way, right it still goes the same way. So it makes no difference what I do. As I say the idea is as soon as it goes out of range the motor will cut anyway so that's all I want it to do. I just want to be able to start the motor and if it goes out of range it will stop. Well that looked fairly level.
I'm really having trouble gauging whether this is actually helping with the motor on it or not. Because it glides fine. I'll give it one more go. Summary time. I really don't know if that motor is helping at all. It's so low powered and just across the garden here we don't really get the impression of whether it's going to give any lift or not or any thrust. So I might try it out in the park somewhere. But I just can't tell. It glides fine but I can't tell whether that propeller's adding anything or not.